So first cars, first cars. First car I bought was a Seat Abita, and I couldn't drive it. My girlfriend drove it. <laughs> that was that was the deal. Uh, yeah. First car for me was a Ford Fiesta, like a 1991 Ford Fiesta that I managed to crash twice in the same crash. Uh, by... <laughs> so you have to explain that. I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, there was up, a crash. And there was a crash because it's my ineptitude. I'd only drive it a couple of months and I popped out from behind a stop sign, would be the discreet way of putting it. Uh, and <laughs> much to the excitement of the car, who was on the road at the time. So he nudged me into a wall. And then my dad came around and went, OK, fine, well, we'll take this car off somewhere to be repaired. And I said, great. And we pulled it out. And I sat in the car and he attached a tow rope to this car, this already crashed car. And when he's ready to tow, it, and I said, brilliant, thumbs up, like whatever. And he pulled off, and I pulled off, and I'm pulling the wheel. But nobody told me you have to put the car into neutral when you're being towed. So I, on the first move, turned it, it locked. And then my dad pulled the car out of a position across the road into another wall. So I hit <laughs> two sides, two walls on the, on the side of the same road, twice with the same car, and just, it was just gone. It was written off of that. Have same. you ever seen a Laurel and Hardy film? Yeah, that's, 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 that's all you have to say. Ed, your first car, having passed your driving test, yes. is extraordinary, and I my, think the audience will agree with this. First car I, after passing my test, first car I got for myself was a Mercedes SL 350. Yeah, not too shabby. Uh, that was called Nora, I called that car. Because Nora Batty, and it was a tiny bit like the Batmobile. I name all my cars, and they all have silly names. Uh, and what, what came after that one? Uh, a Volkswagen Golf called James Golfandini. And I think there was another golf called Revy Ballesteros. <laughs> was, uh, and I got rid of that, and I now have a Jeep Renegade, which is called Lorenzo, after Lorenzo Lamas, who played the title role in the obscure yet seminal 90s TV show, Renegade. Right. I'm good at naming cards. <laughs> yes. So that's my Renegade there. Oh. And that's the canoe on top, it's called Stinky Pete, because it's an old prospector. <laughs> I can't help myself. <laughs> you named your canoe? <laughs> yeah, I name everything. Can you imagine anything about him he has a name? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, maybe first we'll, uh, we'll take a look at Dara's lap, and while we're watching that, we can get a little marriage counselling for you. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's take a look at Dara's lap. So this is Dara. The track's looking pretty dry. A little bit of a stumbled start. Operation Crush Ed's Dreams. So not remotely competitive. <laughs> now, your line through here is always pretty good. That was a jewel. So many G-forces. It doesn't look fast. OK, don't hit the tires. Don't hit the tires. Don't hit the tires. He didn't hit the tires. The exit of Chicago, smooth again. Uh, no, 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 you. The violent right. slap between the seats indicates something else. OK, now driving the car really fast. God, I'll be so disappointed when he loses this. He seems confident, doesn't he? <laughs> Here, round the invisible hammerhead. Why? What's supposed to be here? Put some trestle tables with custard pies on it or something. <laughs> well, you got you got the left-right bit for the first time in the day, I think, yeah. now, didn't you? Bollards, anything, inflatable things. Go into a fourth gear. This is even a fifth and sixth. We'll never use it. It's hard to get out of third. Stab that. <laughs> Put this corner. Follow through, follow through. That was good speed. Now the tire wall. Now, this one that you keep saying, don't break on. Has Ed broken on it? Well, then I'm not going to break on it. Good speed. Oh, that was the brake lights. <laughs> yeah. OK. <laughs> Coming oh, no. into seconds to last. Tricky dressing. seeing this one. And now onto the slippery bit. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Through there safely. And now through Gambon. Completely slow down. And over the line. Yeah, OK. <laughs> yeah, I know. Probably, I, think, I think there's very little in us. Yeah. I think that looked pretty racy, actually. I think it looks smooth. I, honestly, the, f the first turn, the first large, I thought I'd lost it. I honestly thought, now ah, you've screwed that up now. I thought I'd gone way too wide and I lost control of it there. Because of the conditions, as you can see from the driving rain, uh, and, <laughs> and the sleet, uh, which cameras can't pick up on. Yeah, but it looked like you carried pretty good corner speed. I didn't see a lot of wheel spin. Oh. All right, let's see Ed's lap. OK. Oh, that's wetter. Definitely wetter. Cleaner start. Using more revs. Yeah, you might sell more tickets than I do when you're on tour. <laughs> but who, who will be faster around the Top Gear track? Slightly wider on the way in. Is he tighter through the corner? He is. And more speed on the exit, too. Perfect. Nailed that. That's for the time you opened for me. And we're funnier. <laughs> <laughs> you really wanted this. <laughs> That's for having a bigger house than I have. <laughs> 
stick that up Brian Cox's bum. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent if I'm a head better what to say after that. <laughs> okay, got a bit cocky there, almost lost it. Down the back straight, through the follow through. This is for getting me to be your best man and then doing a speech just before mine and being even funnier than my best man speech was! <laughs> <laughs> no brake lights. All right. Way. There you go. Nailed it. Nailed it. OK, brake and change down. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Unstable on the entry and now the super slippery bit. Man, I cannot wait for the next episode of Mock the Week. You ain't never going to live this down. I have destroyed you. And now, Gambon, or a big slide, showboating over the line. Yeah. That looked quick. Hey, not only, not only was that a lot of very good driving, but I thought, I thought you get a lot out of your system. Hey, that was very cathartic. Yeah, was very, cathartic. very therapeutic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't believe how much I care about the numbers that are written right there. It See, makes I... no difference yeah. to anything, and I care deeply. I'm looking at this right here. I used to share a flout with Ross Noble. I know I'm nowhere near there. And, but I'm looking at Lee Mack and I'm thinking, yeah. like, that's... Good. He's a realistic target, maybe, to aim for Lee Mack. What I'm thinking is we can pretty much forget the lap board. This is about head-to-head. -head. I mean, it's clear, is it not? It's a grudge match. Yeah, yeah. OK, so you got the same car, mm -hmm. same conditions, right? Roughly the same conditions. Yeah. Roughly the same conditions. <laughs> <laughs> not being petty, I'm not saying anything, but just... Definitely you a don't even track. know the times yet. No, I don't, but I'm already making excuses. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Yep. Dara. Okay. You did it in one minute, 53.2. Okay. You beat Lee Mack. You beat Lee Mack. You beat Lee Mack. I'm disappointed I didn't beat John Kosher, but I beat Lee Mack, and that's a good thing. Yeah, but they're wet. Remember, we're wet. Wet, wet, yeah. Right. Yeah. One minute, 53.2. OK. Mm -hmm. And Ed, you did it in two... Oh. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> OK, you did it in one minute, 50.0. Oh! oh. 